Hello mates. To celebrate the end of January, we're going to go and look at the three behemoth fast food outlets that have brought out something vegan this month. We're going to go to KFC, we're going to go to Burger King, and we're going to look at the Subway Meatball Marinara. Let's eat. We're here outside Burger King to try the new Rebel Whopper, Burger King's new arguably vegan burger. Tom Vanelli, who is in charge of international marketing and communications for Veganuary, says the fact that the Whopper is cooked on the same grills as all the meaty burgers doesn't make a difference for those who are trying to eat less meat. But what does make a difference is the fact that they're choosing a plant-based diet. Hey, well, can we speak to your manager? Is that okay? Uh, I can speak to your manager. Okay. We're going to come in and get some food anyway, if that's right, but we won't do any uh, filming. No, we don't set for you, right? What's that? For you. There's another Burger King around the corner, so it's fine. We've infiltrated another Burger King, but we're not going to eat here for fear of our own safety. Absolute Whopper, mate. I'm going to try this little Rebel Whopper, a little vegan burger. It's enormous. Tastes like Burger King. I think it's really good. And you know when people say, oh, it's exactly like meat, it tastes exactly the same, and you're like, yeah, all right, it tastes exactly the same. This tastes real similar. It tastes really, really similar. I think this is what I'd go for every time. In summary, the Rebel Whopper from Burger King was decent. I wouldn't go out of my way to have it, but if it's freely available and convenient, I'd definitely choose that over some of the misery meat that they serve at Burger King. What you do need to try, though, is this Dr. Pepper Cherry. I know I've banged on about it, but it is absolute crack. Get down there, people. We are at Subway to try the meatless meatball marinara. Colin Hughes is the UK director of Subway, and he says that the meatless meatball marinara is equally as delicious as the meatball marinara. And I'm here to find out whether Colin's spouting a load of old guff or whether he's actually on point. Let's go. There's, I've got onion, sweet corn, gherkin, lettuce, uh, vegan cheese, sweet onion, which is the best thing that Subway do, and if you don't get it, you're an absolute rotter. And it's all right. I mean, it's pretty messy, and it's not a great sandwich. You can definitely make better at home. But as a vegan option that's convenient when you're out and about, it's amazing to have that option. It's definitely better than all the meat options, if you ask me. The meatball itself is pretty decent. You're not getting away from the fact that it's a Subway, and obviously Subway is not the best food in the world, but the convenience of being able to have a Subway if you're vegan is paying lunch, well done Subway. So yeah, Subway, meatless meatball marinara. It's pretty decent to be honest. I mean, it is Subway, so you do have to temper your expectations somewhat, but it's delicious nonetheless. And amazing that they've got a vegan option so readily available. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that sweet chili relish, sweet onion relish, should I say. And uh, yeah. Feeling pretty gippy now. I've had two bits of fast food in half an hour, and now I'm about to go and put a third down me. So wish me luck. Table for one, mate. Hello, sweetie. It's fine, mate. Zero chicken, 11 herbs and spices. Looks pretty decent. Bit dry. Definitely the best of the three. It's just a corn burger in a, in a bun. But again, amazing KFC is offering it. I'll just put a bit of cheese with it, mate, and uh, that'll be banging. Come and check it out, it's delicious. The ganya is over, guys, but don't worry. Those vegan options that we looked at aren't going away anywhere. You can eat them throughout the year. And I would say they're way more delicious than the meat options, way less gippy, and there's way less misery involved. So definitely give them a shout. KFC was the best, followed by Burger King, and then there was a bit of a sloppy Subway. That might be your thing if you're a bit sloppy, but uh, I prefer my stuff a little bit clean, a little bit less sloppy. And uh, yeah, give it a go, delicious. Make sure you subscribe here, like here, and share with your friends. Do a little dance, celebrate Veganuary, and I'll see you next time. God, I feel gippy. Three takeaways and 
No, it was not a good idea. Still, it's all in the aid of being a legend.